What's up everybody, welcome back to another unboxing and review. Today we are um, unboxing a gaming chair from Staples. This is the Varton gaming chair. If you're doing your research now, you kind of want to see how this chair feels, what it looks like and everything. I'm gonna kind of, you know, unbox it and break it down, put it together. Also, if you want to see a vlog of me purchasing this chair, make sure you check out yesterday's video as well. Um, I kind of test out the chair and stuff in person. First thing first, let's unbox this bad boy. Oh God. It's hard to do all this stuff with one hand and record at the same time. As soon as you open the box, first thing you'll see is the back piece. All right, so we have the back. We have some additional plastic pieces. I did a lot of reviews on this seat and a lot of people love, actually, it has some good reviews, a lot of people like it. Here's the armrest. Put it right here. We have the neck support. We have the, look like the lumbar support. So we have the seat bottom. Look okay, we have the base here. It looks like a spider. And when you kill a spider, it, it kind of like crumbles up. We got the wheels. And we got whatever this is. All right, so. To be honest, not a lot of pieces. A lot of people said it took them about an hour to put this all together. I'll see how long it takes me. But um, don't like there's a lot of pieces though, so. So it looks like all of the tools and everything is all right here. So you have a step four, step five, seven, eight, ten. And this is like your only tool. It's like a, a Phillips head and an Allen key. And then you have the instructions. Kind of neat and look kind of simple. If you want to know exactly which one I got, I got the, well, there's like four different models. I got one of these models. But it's the Vart, Vartan gaming chair. So pretty much you can tilt the chair, what it says, adjust the height, tilt lock, that's cool. Arm height adjustment, backrest recline, adjustable arm, pad, arm pads. Um, I probably didn't even need all of this, but it would just overdo and that chair just need to get replaced and I had that for years so this is gonna be cool so I'm not gonna record everything step by step I'm probably gonna do a quick time lapse of me putting everything all together the instructions look pretty simple though look like you know per, of course you start from the base and then just make your way up so I'm gonna start this up and do a quick little time lapse
it was good so far the only the only probably trouble i had so far is when i was putting on the hinges for this to connect the back piece to the bottom and like the holes go into the chair and you can't even see anything there's like much of this material and you, you have to find where you want you have to put the nail and stuff it's the only issue i was having but so far pretty much look pretty good now the the casing on here that covers the mechanism um it looks pretty tight on here but if you loosen it then it'll be too loose so like on this side looks way even tighter so i don't know maybe i should loosen this or or what other than that everything else pretty looks good so next is the back support so you put it right here and i guess you have it go around that way and then this goes through there and then the bottom goes to the bottom and you just clip them through the back all right so i have the finished product here and it came out good i throw in the neck rest and the lower lumbar support and it came out good so this material is not real leather but pretty soft have a lot of give pretty much this is customizable you can change the armrest how you want it with your direction up and down the backrest leans back as well you can move the lumbar up and down if you wanted to i don't know if i'm going to use this it's pretty firm i don't think i would need this this stuff definitely would like to have but these go up and down you know, you can have the backrest, move forward, or move back, you can recline, which is quite comfortable. Um, I'm going to use this chair for a while, test it out, see how it feels compared to the other chair, and then give you guys an, uh, an idea. Yeah, because with this chair, the biggest issue I had is I, had, I barely had any neck support, and it doesn't recline, it doesn't move back and forth, so I was stuck at this position, like, forever. I'm going to replace this guy with this guy so it took me probably about a half an hour to pull this together everybody else said an hour i don't know why the only thing i'm missing in this thing is i forgot i forgot to put these on and this kind of covers the neck right there so i'll probably do take that take it apart and i am um, add them on another time other than that though, everything was pretty pretty good. I right, cleaned up all of this mess this, this chair cost and we're gonna get rid of that chair. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna test out this chair to see how it feels and I'll probably give you guys an update in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.